so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna learn something more in flutter basically what we are gonna do is we are gonna learn something about the reorderable list views okay so how we can implement a reorderable list view okay so this you have seen in many of the yeah, what you can say application or um, these are inbuilt thing that you can drag and set the file anything above any file okay you can just rearrange the files okay so without wasting any time let's just dive right into our code so you can see that i have um, previously written the basic codes of my flutter okay so now in this uh, uh, in this uh, project uh, we have a home and a my app okay so let me just minimize these things uh, also this okay and here we have a container and this container will be replaced by scaffold okay scaffold come on here so we have a scaffold okay and this scaffold will have a app bar okay app bar okay so we have a app bar and app bar will ask for no not this firstly we will not do a action bar firstly we will set the title okay so title will be a text okay and in that text we will set the reorderable list view okay order if um, there is any typo just please ignore them okay true. okay so we have sent the title as true now what we will have we will have a body and the body will have a reorderable list view okay so you can see that there are two things one is child and one is on reorder okay so it has two child uh, two parameters okay so before doing anything firstly we have to create a list okay in which we have the datas okay so we will create a fine no not final we will create a list of string yeah and let me give it a name as data and after giving the name data i will create a array okay basically it is a list it is not an array it is a list so let me give something like a bb comma let me just give only 10 items one second just okay so you can see that i have only 10 items okay so now what we will do we will do is that we will just map these things into a list tile okay and on this reorder we will do something okay so let's just see uh, in this child okay what we will do in this child we will just map this data function okay this data function to uh, what you can say uh, um, uh, we will map this to a tiles and that tile will have only a text okay so let's just say we have data and this data will be mapped okay so you can see that it is asking for a uh, something okay so we will not this yeah we will have a index place okay and this index will be mapped okay and this index will be mapped to what this index will be mapped to a list tile okay and after that this will be dot to list okay that this data function is mapped to a list tile and it is also a list okay so what we will have we will have a key and it will have a object key okay this object key will take the index value index okay and after that what we will have we will have a title and title will be text and this will be the index index yeah okay and after that after this title we have subtitle we can give anything uh, we will can give anything like we can give text yeah we have to give text here and let this text be move it anywhere okay yeah so let it be so it is done and now 
in this reorder function okay what we will do we will create a function here so let me create a function like uh, it has a on reorder let me give on reorder on reorder yeah okay so we have to create this function here okay void on reorder okay so you can still see that it's showing error what is the error when we hover over it it shows that void can't be assigned to parameter type int comma int it says that the function we need to create should have two integer parameters and we haven't given any parameter here so it will ask for two parameter basically what it asks for it will ask for an a old parameter and a new parameter sorry sorry about the grammar mistake <laughs> okay so firstly we will have a old index place and after that we will have a new index place new index okay what we will do here we will just remove the index and uh, remove the element at this old index place okay so we will create a variable let it be x okay and we will just remove the data dot remove at old index place okay index place yeah now what we will do when the item is removed from that index place it should be inserted the point where we want to index that is we it should be inserted at the new index place okay so data dot insert okay so you can see that it has two things it has a index and it has a element okay so uh, what is the element element is the element that we just remove what is the element it is x so we will just replace is by x okay and now the index value what should be the index value index value should be the new index value okay so it should be the new index okay so it's done so it's over now what we want to do uh, we have to do one thing more that is if my new index place is greater than my old index place then what we should do we should just uh, decrease the index place by one okay because uh, because if something is removed then the data should be moved and then the remaining uh, list that is downward of that uh, index it should move upward okay so it will do that now what we will do what we have to do is that uh, basically we have to just wrap these contents in set state okay so what we can do because we want everything to happen in set state okay so we will just copy cut these things okay and we will just paste it here okay so you can see that there is no error why it is uh, typo let it be let the typo be okay so now what we will do uh, it's done but we want uh, something more i'm gonna reorder all these thing once again so for that for reordering that what we will do uh, we will ha add a action widget and it will have a icon button okay it will have a icon button and in that icon button what we will have we have a icon okay and this icon will be like icon uh, and in that sorry icons dot oh icons dot short is there short by alpha or short let because we are using a string to let it short by alpha okay and after that we have a tooltip tooltip should be tooltip should be short it okay if you don't know about the tooltip you can just go and watch my previous video i have talked uh, about tooltip in my previous videos okay mm, i have made two videos on that and these are sufficient enough to talk about the tooltips basically it just shows about when we long press over any of the widget it will show about the things what we have to do okay so i have talked about them in my previous video so you can just go okay and watch that so after that we have a on press on press will call a short function okay it will call a short function or you can say that 
on short because uh, so where it is on short is a uh, on short we will call the on short because short is a keyword okay so what we will do now we will create a function here void mean okay and on void sorry not void mean void o short okay we have to give the name here okay and now what we will do we will just uh, short the data okay we know that there are many type of shorting like bubble short insertion short selection shorting but there is a predefined function in list uh, in dart and this this function is similar in java also that is dot short so we will just directly use the dot short okay yeah uh, as and i've want to tell you guys that i am using this short function first time so i am not confirm about what it will do okay so let's just run our app and see what the output comes okay um, as you can see uh, know that i always use a physical device i don't use the emulator okay so let me just connect my device to my laptop okay and let me just open my developer option from my phone if you don't know about a developer option you can just google it or you can just write down in the comment section and i will tell you about how you can enable the developer option in your phone okay so let me just connect my phone so one second only it will just pop yeah you can see that my phone is connected okay yeah you can see that it has shown the my driver also i'm using a oppo a37f version okay so let me check if i have done anything error one second guys only so one second only one second yeah i don't think that there is any error it has icon button and, and everything so let's just run it yeah so i have clicked the run features or uh, run function so it will just start and resolving the dependencies okay so when it will uh, resolve the dependency after that it will just uh, what you can say install the apk in my phone okay so after installing it will just sync with the laptop for the hot reload and any other processes okay so let's just wait for our dependencies to build okay and one more thing guys you can just play with this code make your own version of these codes and just comment or you can just post the screenshot of your work in our um, facebook page the link of the facebook page will be given in the description below just go and paste all your work there i will love to see your work okay and if you don't understand these codes you can just go to my github repository and just uh, get the code i will give the link of the description uh, github repository in the description below just go and search uh, uh, visit my github repository have a look over there i have just posted all the work that i have done till date basically i have made all the videos on that the work i have done okay and if you have any problem regarding anything till date i have made in flutter or if you have any problem just write down in the comment section or you can just message me over the uh, facebook page message me in the face and i will definitely respond to you okay as soon as possible okay so let's just wait okay and we will just meet up after the app has been built okay so you can see that the apk has been built and it's been installing in my phone so you can see that the this is my phone screen okay so and yeah i am a very great fan of eminem so you can see that i have built uh, set the wallpaper of eminem there <laughs> let's ignore that um, so it's installing the apk and it will after that it will just install and it will sync for the uh, hot reload process and other debugging process okay 
and yeah one more thing guys if you want me to make any other video any other programming video stuff that you have problem then just write down in the comment section and i will definitely make video on that okay don't go for the ios process ios things because i don't have a mac but i will make anything that is possible for me to build okay so you can see that this is our result we have a app bar it has a um, uh, so what you can say i can at the right most corner and if we long press over that okay if we long press over that it shows a short it okay this is basically the tool tip okay so you can see that th this is a list okay so this is a list okay well, let me just move something like well, let me move the a to down of d okay so this is a okay let me move e to g so this we can see that our reorderable list view is working fine but the data dot short function is it working fine or not let me just see when we click the rightmost icon button will it short it or not let me see uh, what it has done it has done nothing okay so it means that it's not shorting the function okay okay so let me just see why it is not shorting uh, should we have to move this in the set state function or anything else let me just what you can say let me just see why it is not setting okay so there is one thing we missed in our uh, this uh, thing that is we have to use the set state okay we have to use the set state and the this thing should be inside this set state okay and now let's just uh, rerun it it will it is just performing the hot restart and let us just see what the output comes one second only okay so yeah you can see that the app has been reloaded and let us just move this a to again downward where let me set it below f okay and let me set the g to upside okay so you can see that this is shorted and let me when we click this uh, icon it will it short yeah you can see that this array is shorted let me move this again to down and let me move it here okay so you can see that c is at the top now when i click at this icon button everything shorts okay so basically this is the output of our project okay or, or you can see the output of our program okay so that's all for today guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends okay and if you have a problem just comment me down and i will definitely get back to you on that thank you have a nice day